Good morning, beloveds. <clears throat> Thank you for joining in the light. To see what's already joined, holy, whole, and complete. These light circles are about seeing everything in the light of God, the light of divine nature, what's unlimited, indivisible. So we come today to focus on the light of lesson 130, the voice that comes from God that says it is impossible to see two worlds. Jesus, will you show me any desire below my level of awareness to experience two worlds? I'm willing to look upon the desire for any division in my mind, any investment from a world apart from you. Perception is consistent. All happiness is in the sameness of all things. Perception of the world's changing and fluctuating. And what you see reflects your thinking. And your thinking but reflects your choice of what you want to see. the desire to see something other than your true self. Your values are determiners of this. For what you value, you want to see. Believing what you see is really there. Jesus, will you show me the value I'm placing on the world that's apart from you? I'm willing to see. <clears throat> no one can see a world his mind has not accorded value. This is important teaching. And no one can fail to look upon what he believes he wants. Jesus, is in there any beliefs below my level of awareness that I must somehow hold on to this other world, that this world has some kind of value for me that I need to see? Yet who can really hate and love it once? Jesus, is there a desire below my level of awareness to hate and love it once? I'm willing to see it. For you to show me the areas of my mind where I'm hating and loving it once. Or trying to. <clears throat> Even though I know it's impossible. To really look deeply. <clears throat> Who can desire what he does not want to have? 
reality. Who can desire what he does not want to have rea is that reality? Does the light that's here that we celebrate want another world apart from itself? And who can choose to see a world of which he is afraid? Jesus, are there remaining fears in my mind? about the world that I've miscreated. I'm willing to see those. I'm willing to see the investment in the world that I'm afraid of. Fear must make blind, for this is it, this its weapon is. That which you fear to see, you cannot see. Jesus, is there any fear that I'm creating so that I cannot see what's already here? Love and perception must go hand in hand, but fear obscures in darkness what is there. Love and true perception. Whole perception. Perception of what is complete and whole and holy. Jesus, will you show me where I've denied myself true perception? I'm willing to see it. What then can fear project upon the world? What can be seen in darkness that is real? In the light of divine being that we are, is darkness real? In our direct experience is the light. Truth is eclipsed by fear and what remains is but imagined. Jesus in the heart of truth and the light that's here is fear imagined in our direct experience. Imagination is a function in consciousness. Yet see that it does not change the light. Projections cannot change the light. Yet what can be real in blind imaginings of panic born? Jesus, is there any desire below my level of awareness to experience a reality in blind imaginings that birth panic? the experience of panic within. I'm willing to see my desire for this experience. 
of the other world, a world apart from my true self that appearances, that attempts to prove that I can be apart from myself. What would you want that this is shown to you? What would you wish to keep in such a dream? Does the light that's here, divine being, wish for a dream? Can a dream be known to the infinite light that we are? Fear has made everything you think you see. All separation, all distinctions, and the multitude of differences you believe make up the world. Jesus, I give these differences to you. This desire for distinctions. Show me the desire for distinctions that I may lay it at your feet. The desire for multitude of differences. To create a multitude of differences and then be angry about it. Because there are differences rather than to celebrate the diversity of the expression of love within myself. They are not there. In the light of divine being, is separation true? Is it there? Are multitudes of differences there in the light of divine being? Can they be found in infinite love? Can distinctions be found in infinite, unchanging love, light? Love's enemy has made them up. Jesus, will you show me a desire to create an enemy and live it? If there's any thought of an enemy. Yet love can have no enemy, and so they have no cause, no being, no consequence. Does light, infinite light that's here, know a cause separate from itself? Does it know a consequence, infinite light, infinite being? Can it find a consequence? in our direct experience. They can be valued, but remain unreal. They can be sought, but they cannot be found. Today we will not seek for them, nor waste this day in seeking what cannot be found. It is impossible to see two worlds which have no overlap of any kind. Jesus, is there any desire below my level of awareness to try to bring these two worlds together? To have the light meet 
the insanity of the world. I'm willing to see that impossibility. How can they meet? Seek for the one and the other disappears. But one remains. They are the range of choice beyond which your decision cannot go. The real and the unreal, all there are to choose between and nothing more than these. And see in this that there is always there's never a choice whether you are the light. Does the light come and go? You'll see that there's no choice to be the light. The light doesn't make choices. In our direct experience in the light this here, does it make choices? Infinite light. There's only the seeming choice to pretend that the light's not here. Today we will attempt to compromise where none is possible. Oh, tip, no, better read that one correctly. Let's go back, back it up. I don't want to re misread that sentence. Today we will attempt no compromise where none is possible. Does infinite light may have any compromise whatsoever of itself? Does the light that's here know anything about compromise? Infinite light? That feels worth investigating. Choice only exists in the dream. There's choice and then there's expression of divinity. Just expressing because it is love expressing. See that the light just is. There's infinite light here, yes. Does it move or change? No. It just is. The world you see is proof you have already made a choice as all embraces, all embracing as its op opposite. What we would learn today is more than just the lesson that you cannot see two worlds. It also teaches that the one you see is quite consistent from the point of view from which you see it. Jesus, in my direct experience, am I generating the world I see? 